God has blessed me with some incredible hunts. Double dog, baby. As my daddy always said, never forget where you came from. All right, guys, uh, I want to take this moment to uh, introduce you to Mr. Philip Vanderpool, the host of Dominator 365. Philip and I have been out uh, doing a little bit of predator hunting this morning. They kind of kicked our rear ends, but we well, had fun. I'll tell you what, of course, you know how it is. You may go make 10 stands and it don't happen. And then the next two or three you make, the magic is in the call. So right. uh, yeah, I was yanking and cranking. But yeah, you were sounding happen. good back there. I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we had a blast anyhow, but uh, hey, as we promised you, New Hope Outdoors Follow the Blood TV, big announcement this week, and uh, so here it is, uh, March 21st is our wild game dinner, we're going to ha have open food from 5 to 6.30, we're going to have some seminars going on, and yours truly, Mr. Philip Vanderpool, is going to be our guest speaker, starting at 7 o'clock, so Philip, won't you share with us just a little bit about uh, the evening, and what your what your thoughts are well I you know what I love to do is is intermingle with everybody and and uh, hopefully that we'll get there and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about myself I'll tell you about how I got started in the hunting industry I'm going to tell you basically how to get our kids involved which is so important to me right. and how to give back and help other people and get them into hunting that never have the opportunities Jamie that you and I have right and to me, that's so important. And uh, you know, that's we're going to be telling that story, and I'm going to be showing, sharing some video footage, showing you some hunts that I've been successful in, and hunts that has truly blessed me. And last but not least, I'm going to share my testimony and and how God has blessed me in being able to live and love what I do. Amen. I yeah. can't wait. That's be awesome. I appreciate it. And hopefully next time we set up, I get you an old coyote yeah. in. Or well, thanks for taking me out. I mean, wow. it's single digits this morning. Beautiful weather for coyote it's, hunting. It's been great. But uh, I had a blast just listening to you get on that old call back here this morning. I, I want to say one thing too. I look I forward to seeing each and every one of you. Be sure and bring your kids and your family and everyone. And even if you know a child that's never in, been introduced to hunting. And bring them to this wild game dinner. Maybe we can change their life and get them involved with what we, what we do. Because we all know hunting is not just about going out and killing. It's about the experience that you can make and how you can truly, just like it was magical this morning. It's cold. It's 8, 9 degrees this morning. But that sun popping up and the snow on the ground, it, it was gorgeous. I still had a wonderful time out of it. You know, you, you just said something made me think about something. About a year and a half ago, I was watching some uh, a hunt that you did. You was talking about bringing your kids. And a young man by the name of Braden, I believe yeah, his name Braden was. Massey. yes. Uh, he shot that old long beard, and that line rolled off of him, and there he sat in that wheelchair, and you guys helping him. I tell you what, brother, I was crying like a baby. Every time I watch it, I, get, I even talking about it, I get emotional because it brings me back to that moment. Right. And how that boy, he can't even use his hands. And we right. had to use a sipping puff and him shooting his first turkey. But his mother got to sit in yes. a blind and got to see her son shoot that, shoot that gobbler. And we got to experience that moment right there together. And that's, y'all, that's what it's right. truly about. You know, I've been blessed to shoot some big, big deer in my life. And, you know, Jamie, I'm mainly all a bow hunter, and, and I've been blessed. The good Lord has blessed me. But when it comes back down to it, the moment, like Braden Massey that I shared, I can't even begin to tell you how I felt inside. It will change your life forever. Right. I mean, yeah, shooting a 200-inch deer and the excitement, the emotion, yes, it's unreal. Right. But when that little boy... Absolutely. When he turned to me and I couldn't talk because I was so choked up, but when he sat there and turned to me and he told me what was wrong with him, right. that's a moment I'll never forget. I that's it, a it, it affected me just seeing it on TV and I can't even imagine being right there. And, and, and I get to watch that through the video. I get to go back and relive that moment. Right. You know, and Dave Voise has done such a good job putting that together for for our show and man and I've ha I've been blessed to have several experiences like that and I know we're we're ranting and yeah. rambling on here but I'm gonna tell you y'all 
get these kids involved. Take someone, a special needs person, it could be a wounded warrior, uh, a police officer, anyone that has never had that opportunity to come out here and share this moment. That's, that's what it's all about. I'm gonna tell you right now, you'll get a whole lot more out of it than they probably do, right. honestly, just by giving back. Right. So, March 21st, doors open at five. Come on out, 1401 Loveland Madeira Road, New Hope Baptist Church. It's gonna be an action-packed night. I hope to see you all there. See you there. Imagine that perfect scenario of a spring morning. Way off, you hear that barred owl. <laughs> then, way off in that distance, you hear him. Then you hear this. That old heart gets to racing. You get in position, and all of a sudden you hear him. I see this fan come up, and I see him flare out, and my heart drops. You give a little yell. And then I see that big, red, white, and blue head. Then all of a sudden. Thank you, good Lord. Big gobbler down.